Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Vibe once again. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can use Nuke's different merge nodes to make our comp. Yes, you have heard correctly. In Nuke, we have different kind of nodes to merge two layers. And in this video, we are going to see all those nodes. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay. As you can see over here, I have a pretty basic setup and to just let you know in my project setting, I have set my color mode to OCIO and I am using OCIO SS 1.1. If you are using Nukes later version, you will definitely have ACS 1.2. Feel free to use 1.2. Why I did that? Because I have rendered my data from Maya in OCIO format. So I need to do that, right? If you're using sRGB, you don't need to change it to ACES, right? So here I am having one background where few buildings are here. I'm going to use it as a background and I'm going to use this as a foreground, right? So if I have to merge this with this layer, what I need to do normally we used to take merge. So I'm going to hit M on keyboard to take merge node. So in typical merge operations, we have two inputs like A and B. So definitely this will be in background and I'm going to use this as a foreground, right? So when I'm going to see my result, so it will be expected result because what merge is doing, basically it's putting our foreground layer on top of my background layer. And in merge, you can easily see I have merge operations over. So it's putting layer A over layer B, right? That's the simple fundamental, right? But here we can easily see this building is not at the right place because it should be behind this and in front of this. So what we need to do, we need to fix it. So how I can fix it? So it's pretty simple fix. I'm going to take a node called crypto mat because I will be needing mat of this building so that I can put my foreground behind it, right? So I'm going to connect my crypto mat over here and in picker, I'm going to hit control and left click. So definitely I'll have my mat of this building and to use it, I'm going to take a merge node and in merge node, I'm going to change operation from over to stencil. So what stencil will do, it will cut my this input on the basis of mat I have provided, right? So after doing that, if I'm going to see my this building is at right place, right? But there will be a problem, right? You can easily see I'm getting some sort of extra pixels. Why this is coming? Because if I'm going to see my crypto mat, you can easily see I'm having a transparent pixel. One pixel is transparent, right? So that's why in that particular transparency, I'm getting background images of this, right? So I'm getting one pixel different color or edge I'm getting. Although we can fix it, I'm not going to fix that particular problem in this video. If needed, I can do it in next video as well, right? So this is the first way how we use to merge two layers, right? Another node which will help us to merge is Z merge. Probably you have used it. Now how Z merge is working, if you want to know the node in detail, you have to go to Foundry and you can learn everything related to Z merge node. I'll put link in the description as well. You can go and you can read each and every detail of Z merge node, right? So how Z merge is working. So definitely I'm going to connect two and one over here. It doesn't matter in which order you are connecting your foreground and background. It will automatically, it will be fixed. So if I'm going to see through my Z merge, I don't need to do any kind of masking and all automatically this node is putting my foreground at correct place. But if I'm going to watch closely, you can easily see I'm having artifacts, right? So if I am going to compare this in G merge, you will have a bad edges, right? Can you see that? Can you see that? 
and why it's happening because my this node is based on g depth right so to use this node you must have g depth in both the layers right so if i'm going to see depth i'm having my depth and if i'm going to lower down it you can easily see i am having my depth something like this right and also if i'm going to see this layer this layer having depth of this particular building as well right so on the basis of this depth information my this g merge node is working but it's having its own consequences right so why i am getting these kind of bad edges because if i am going to see depth one more time over here and as we all know my depth map is not ntlized right so that's why i am getting that crooked edges although we can fix it yes this is how g depth rendered from maya or any other particular software if you have any setting to use ntlizing while rendering you can do it it will be fixed but there is option to fix it inside nuke as well so this is the simplest way i can use my g merge node and it will automatically place your particular layer in that particular place to use it definitely yes you will be needing g depth pass in both the layers or whichever layer you are using you will be needing g depth right another merge node is our deep merge right so i am going to delete my deep merge and i am having same data over here and over here as well right so if i am going to use it right i need to hit tab and i need to type deep merge right so in deep merge again we will having a and b it doesn't matter which input you are putting where because in deep data your depth data is inbuilt inside that particular node so you don't need to take care about distance or you don't need to take care about a depth from the camera to the subject right because each and every depth detail or distance detail is baked inside that particular node right so if i am going to combine this automatically what will happen it will be merged at that place and you can easily see i am not having any kind of artifacts which i was having while merging with z merge and normal merge as well right so any case deep merge will be beneficial but again it's little heavier on rendering side so if i am going to take a node called dip two points so there will be one deep input and another one will be camera input i have exported my camera from maya and if i am going to show it to you you can easily see i am having a point cloud representation of my information and if i'm going to disconnect it from merge and connect from over here so you can easily see that particular information is placed over here so again if i want to show you you can easily see i am getting my foreground at their respective place so in nuke these are the options which we can use or these are the tools which we can use to merge two layers or merge our background with foreground and hopefully in this video you have learned something new if you think that you have learned something new please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is vfx vibe signing off have a good day